what stood the test of time is certainly this type of rock that's here, this metamorphic rock from this small island. It's hard to believe that take it from a rough rock like this ends up into a masterpiece and somebody throws that rock that then ends up winning the gold medal. This is Keys of Scotland. We manufacture culling stones for the Olympics and the World Championships in over 70 different countries. We've been here for 174 years. This is where we use all the hand tools and it's really the skill of the craft there from there that gives us our final finished shape of the curling stone. The, the operation was known as free hand turning and grinding. It meant that the, the success of the, the, the product was dependent on the skill of the operator. The operator had to coordinate hand and eye to get the, the proper size and shape of the stone. All the curling stones that Case Cullen makes and has made over the years has come from this island, which is a small volcanic plug, 15 kilometres from the west coast of Scotland. We have been taking granite here for the last 170 odd years. These are the stones that's been accredited by the World Curling and have been used in every Olympic Games since 1998. On here there's two different types of granite, common green and blue hone and both of these materials together makes effectively the curling stone that's synonymous around the world. So out of this boulder here you're probably lo looking to get somewhere in the region of six, 12 to 16 curling stones a ton. So out of that one boulder you'd probably get something like 70 to 80 curling stones out of this one boulder. We do this harvest roughly every 10 years and the product we take, like this material got here, should last us 10 to 12 years based on the market growth it's there at that point. Ailes the Craig is definitely the, the far and away the best material that's ever been located anywhere uh, because of it, its unique composition. Uh, very, very fine micrograin granite which re resists wear and tear. Ice can be very abrasive, so the Ailsa Craig material resists the, the wear and tear of the ice. This is the common Ailsa uh, for the main, main part of the stone, which is, is more suitable for absorbing the, the punishment, the knocks and the bumps around the striking band here. Uh, and for the running surface of the stone, you can see a much finer, closer grain granite, which is harder wearing. I currently work at Case Curling making all the giftware. It's the same granite that comes off the Ailsa Craig um, that used for the, the big stones. We then core that out with our core drill that's next door. It comes through here um, in a lengthy core um, and we then cut that into sort of cheeses, miniature cheeses. Um, it then comes down and it gets shaped um, in this six spindle here. Um, so that's shaped into your miniature curling stone, it then gets polished by hand. It has an industry, the only one of its kind in the world. The Ailsa Rock, that's the beginning of all the world's curling stones. This island here, hard to imagine they've stood here and over a hundred years ago there's people like me coming across here to dig out the stone, to then manufacture the stone and then rough cut it here and then put it onto a small ship to then put it in a larger ship that ends up in Canada's and America's over a hundred years ago. Uh, it's such a unique and interesting job with such a great and fantastic story.